There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium. And now on to the rock and roll science hallway of fame with Dr. Borium. What's up, Doc? Today we're going to talk about genes, Rachel. Oh, look at my Calvin Klein's. They're brand new. Great, but I don't mean those types of genes. I mean genes with a G. You mean like the ones that, you know, determine whether or not we have blue eyes or brown eyes or blonde hair or brown hair or like that? Exactly. But today we're going to talk about the vasopressin receptor gene. Ooh, that really sounds fascinating. Not. What does it do? It is fascinating. It's the infidelity gene. Wait, this gene is called the cheating gene, and it's the RS3334, and one segment of it is linked to men that cheat on their significant others, or insignificant in this case, and it says here that the more that you have of this portion of the gene, the more of a cheater you will be, which is a great excuse for the guys, but hey, Doc, what about the women? Do, do, do we have a cheating gene? I'm sure you do, but the study was only done on men. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm just guessing a woman is in charge of that experiment. Don't worry, guys. We're all really, really faithful. I'm Rachel Donahue, and that's our geek treat for the day from the Rock and Roll Hallway of Science.